The history of Fort Hamilton dates all the way back to the Revolutionary War, when a cannon was fired into a British ship coming to suppress the American Revolution. But today, the future of the historic base remains uncertain. The current and past base commanders of Fort Hamilton recognize something which is very important. That any time the base closure commission comes up, Fort Hamilton is in the mix. Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce President Andrew Hone says the base still has value to the neighborhood and the borough. So together with Congressman Dan Donovan, the chamber has proposed a plan to protect the future of the base and the future of residents in New York City. We're the site of the largest terrorist attack that ever happened in this country's history. And we need to prepare people, emergency responders, cybersecurity, and where can we put them? And of course it was for Hamilton. And the proposal also includes plans for a business incubator for companies specializing in those security fields. And one reason for all the optimism for a new home here at Fort Hamilton is the success Brooklyn has seen at other former military locations, like the Brooklyn Navy Yard and the Brooklyn Army Terminal. We have taken what were these major maritime and naval and army installations, and we have converted them into light manufacturing, industrial spaces, maker spaces, places, bottom line, where people are getting jobs and they're growing the economy of the borough. Hone says the fact that Fort Hamilton is an active military location only adds to the appeal because businesses can learn from experts in the field and work hand in hand with the federal government. The plan still has a long way to go, but with support from Donovan, who sits on the Homeland Security Committee, Hone is confident it can move forward with support from the community. Reporting from